Hello everyone. Welcome to JG Chem Master Class. Guys, today we will learn about diazomethane reagent and its application as methylation, epoxidation and homologation, ring expansion, and we'll also see its resonance structure and mechanism. You can find many questions on diazomethane. This reagent is important for all the students like 11, 12th, BSc, MSc, chemistry, and also for the students, those who are preparing any competitive exams like IIT GEM, IIT JE, NEET, CSIR, NET, GATE. This reagent is very common. You can find many questions on it. So first we'll see diazomethane and its uses. First use you can find widely is methylation of active hydrogen compound Active hydrogen compound means the hydrogen which can be easily exchanged like acid, phenol or enols. Well, one example we will see here, you can find cinnamic acid having a COOH group in the presence of diazomethane. The hydrogen is converted into CH3 and so the acid is converted into ester in the presence of diazomethane. Similarly, phenol or alcohol in the presence of diazomethane, H is replaced by Me and so it converted into ether. We will see the mechanism how we can do it. Before that we will see some more application like epoxidation and homologation of aldehyde and ketone. Homologation means homologous series, higher series means you have ex extending the chain here number of carbons. So here you have ketone. In the presence of diazomethane, you can see the insertion of the CH2 take place between the CO and R dash group. And so it is forming a higher homologous. Along with that, you can see epoxide formation also as a side product. Similarly, for aldehyde, you can see hydrogen is converted into CH3. So the aldehyde is converted into ketone here along with epoxide formation. We will see the mechanism for the epoxidation and homologation. Another application is ring expansion. If you have a cyclic structure here, cyclic ketone, then also you can extend the chain here in the presence of diazomethane. Cyclohexanone is converted into cycloheptanone as a major product along with side product epoxide formation. So before we see the mechanism, we will see first the resonance structure. There are four possible resonance structure of diazomethane and we will use the structure 3 as a reagent structure in our mechanism. So first we will see the acid here which is in the presence of diazomethane is converted into ester. How? Here the acid base reaction will take place. The proton is going to be abstracted by this uh, carbon ion. So the nucleophilic attack will take place here or the abstraction of proton will take place from the proton here and so it generates a carbon ion here and uh, CH2 is converted into now it takes a proton so CH2 basically this acid base exists in the form of salt like here O minus and uh, the proton is taken by the CH2 minus then SN2 through SN2 mechanism the backside attack takes place and the release of nitrogen will take place and so it is forming the ester as a product. Another mechanism for ring expansion we will see here the diazomethane act as a nucleophile will attack on the electrophilic center that is carbonyl carbon because carbonyl carbon is electropositive oxygen being electronegative carries a negative charge. So negative positive reaction takes place. So the reaction will take place and at carbonyl carbon followed by the electron migration on O. And so you will get this intermediate. Later, the positive charge on the nitrogen will be satisfied by give, this carbon will give its electron and get a positive charge here. So one possibility is you can show a direct bond formation between oxygen and CH2 because it is negative positive will form a bond and so epoxide that is a side product. Main reaction is you can see the oxygen uh, electron will come back and form a bond between carbon and oxygen followed by the ring opening or ring expansion takes place and will give you cycloheptanone 
and so cyclohexanone is converted into cycloheptanone. So this is a mechanism for the ring expansion. We will see a few questions of uh, previous years of MSc. Question paper where the question is predict the product and propose a mechanism. Here you can notice diazomethane is given in the presence of acidic functional group. So we know the product is going to be ester. The mechanism we have already seen. You can write down the mechanism here because they are asking you the mechanism. Next question is complete the following with a reasonable mechanism. So cyclopentanone is given in the presence of diazomethane. We know that it is a ring expansion case. And mechanism we have seen. So cyclopentanone, one carbon is going to increase and convert it into cyclohexanone. And so you can see here we have discussed few applications of diazomethane. If you feel that uh, this video is useful for you and you like this video, then please do like it, share it with your friend and uh, do write some comment so that I can improve my videos. Till then, see you in the next video.